What is going on with you YouTube? This is Regular Dave coming at you with another video, a little Matt and 16 talk. Before we get into the video, man, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Matt and 16 plays of the week. I had to make this video, man. Every week I am outraged on how EA Sports chooses to show off and promote their game with the Matt and plays of the week. Now, I already get the counter argument. I already know what's coming. I already know that this video is probably not gonna be well received because people are gonna say, Dave, these are supposed to be miraculous, outrageous plays. They're supposed to be ridiculous. That's why they're the plays of the week. They're out of the ordinary. They're out of the norm. You would never, you know, see this again. And I understand that, but I think we argue on two different things. Um, I think these plays of the week actually just show off how bad the player movement is and how bad the player collisions are. Um, I'm not questioning the outcomes of these plays, man. I watch You can watch high school, college, and football um, every week, week in and week out, and see plays that you would say, oh, my God, you know what I mean? How did that happen? How did he catch that? How did he break that many tackles? You could see a play easily every game where a dude breaks three or four tackles, and you're like, man, I did not see that coming. But with Matt, and the problem I have is just the way it looks, man. The player movement is bad, and the collisions are just not violent. I think one of the things in real life why we're so amazed at these broken tackles is because of the aggressive violence. And you're like, how did that dude break that tackle? This guy came in full speed with a forearm shiver and just bounced off or, or the guy just ran through him. That's the amazement in real life. And Madden, as my man Apex called it, it's just powder puff tackling, man. You just get people attaching onto the pile. And that's why I called this ProTac version 2.0. The gang tackling is still just, man, it, it, it's literally a mess. Um, and the player movement, man, it, it just looks bad. I, look, I'm not questioning any of these outcomes, man. I'm questioning how you got to the end and how it looked getting there. Um, you know, I wouldn't have a problem with any of these plays we're watching if it looked good, if we saw the violence, the raw just violence that we see in football. I know Rex Dixon talked about one of you know the biggest problems Madden is facing is the player movement, and they seem to highlight it on a week-to-week -week basis. All right, get active in the comments. Let me know what you think, and I'll get at you guys another time. Peace.